Good morning, good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another little, uh, well, it's my end of poor week, end of my week that I've been um, doing all sorts of colours and I've come to the end of my um, paints. I've got some paints made up and I'm basically wanting to just throw them all in here and well not throw them all in put them on this canvas and see what I get so they're basically leftover paints hodgepodge of a few colors I have but I'm going to see what I can do with them I had this burnt umber that I'd used in the week for um, a lot of uh, autumn autumny color and I've just spread it over my canvas I just wanted to quickly do that so um, I was all prepared for you I hope that I do find you guys all safe and well and taking care of your yourselves because if you don't take care of yourselves you're not really much good to anyone else it's all about um, yeah taking care of you rightio so a poopy brown colour. What does one do with this? I've got three bright colours left, which are orange. I mean, oh, yellow. Sorry. <laughs> I've got this um, pink. It's a hot pink, and it was uh, the hot pink out of that was um, Montmartre pouring paint. And I have this other sort of hot pink, which I think was carmine my memory serves me right now don't believe I've got any silicone in these because I didn't have silicone in anything I did this week just for a, basically a whole silicon week free and I've got white I have got a bit of blue and black there but I don't think I'll be using those so I'm going to do a diagonal something or other so just bear with me um, yeah, we'll see what we get, hey. So I'm going to go on the diagonal. Ooh, there we go. Some hot stuff in here, some hot colours, or some nice. Oops. And we'll get this. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, some people hate using burnt umber full stop because a lot of people, as they say to me, well, I don't have to even add burnt umber because my paints end up going muddy anyway. So, why would you add burnt umber? Well, yeah, it's either something, the something colour you love or you hate, but it actually does go with a lot of people that have homes that are neutral colours, the browns go with it, but of course I'm putting my spin on it with my lovely bright colours which I love using. I might go down the sides with these. So yeah, just experiment, just have a good time, that's what I think. Well, that hasn't used all of them up, so that'll be doing another four again after that with something. Um, try and give it a little bit of a tilt to cover up any, or to spread the paint, spread the love. Certainly those bright colours do stand out wonderfully against that brown, so it might not be as bad. in the end and I've got some splodges of yellow on my canvas but that's okay certainly looks bright and uplifting the middle bit doesn't it it kind of makes the uh, burnt on bus uh, not seem such a yucky colour oops 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 just checking to see if I've got you still in the frame a bit over that way rightio now i am going to cut out a bit of card 
Or maybe I have one that's that length. No. So what I do, because I just want to swipe across this, I will just cut out a piece of my soft plastic file dividers, which you, you get, you know, I don't, six or ten in a pack, so sort of, oh, I'll go, yeah, the soft, the file divider is, is just not really soft like a sleeve, it's got a little bit of body in it, so it's just the perfect tool, perfect tool for swiping. So, and you can just wipe them and wash them over and over again. As you see, I let paint dry on them, but they're perfectly fine to use the second time. So I'm going to try on this. I have this navy that was mixed with all Lodge Podge other blueies. I'm just going to see if I can, maybe I'll put it down there, do a swipe. Whoop. I'll see what the blue looks like. It may not, or it may be just delightful. So let's see. Oh my goodness, look at the cells. <laughs> Talk about the um, rainbow effect. Wowzers. Oh, are you seeing those cells that have popped up? They are just divine. There's actually no silicone, but this is the mixture that I've been trying to get right. And I haven't disclosed it yet because I haven't got it working every time. But look at that. I'm, oh, I have to see if I can get you close up and show you. They are fandabulous. Fandabulous. Look at them. It's not real clear, is it, through this camera? Oh, dooley. Anyway. We'll get on with the pour. There you go. Okay. So that really makes that brown not look, no, not so bad. Not so bad at all. So I'm just going to get my little straw and I'm going to blow the edges out. Wow, just softens the edges. That does now. Oh, oh. silly jilly. Got a big turn, turning, turning. Tina Turner. Oh, that's what I've na definitely named my um, cup turner that my hubby John made me. I've called it my Tina Turner. Um, I did. John and I did think of that name. Then um, one of your lovely subscribers said, "Tina, it's definitely a Tina Turner." So we thought, "Yeah, that's it." If you have. A little air compressor, a little um, uh, spray a spray brush, then you can use the air from that would be very good too. Not so much paint there for me to blow out. Okay, all is not finished. I've got to get me, um, oh, would you believe I haven't got a big enough balloon blown up, blowed up. So I'm going to get in here and do some. And I've got a hole in my balloon. Oh, not. Happy when that happens. Why is that? I don't 
don't want it too big so I just blown it up to about that size but I don't want to use my teeny tiny balloon either oh get my gloves caught in the balloon oh, like. so put your balloon belly button in between your fingers so it's a little bit soft so you can you know get a bit of grip on it this one's not blown up too much and then just hold it and then we're going to do some twirls slides kisses and twerking that's what we're going to do so oh that's took it to the brown that might not be a good idea oh let me see it needs to dry off a bit okay i'm going to walk away and i'm going to come back and then we'll do some ballooning i'm leaving the paint for a while what happens is the paint um, absorbs into the canvas a lot more uh, it then becomes it's just it, it's slightly dry so when you push the balloon in it it'll um, the effects will basically hold there and that's the kind of look that I want for this particular piece well I came back <laughs> I thought I'd switch my camera on um, I've been ballooning away and then when I came to check my camera wasn't running but I switched to the smaller balloon the paint is still quite wet but then what I did with these was with some of the balloon dips in the colorful balloon dips then I just did an extra few little trails into the negative space look people I have negative space do I get brownie points for that please I have negative space and you know how hard that is for me to leave negative space now I did intend actually going all the way through this with the balloon rolling turning but because I've got such gorgeous effects and this the color in it is just popping out of this burnt umber base I just love it like it is so I'm happily gonna leave that alone I've done those few um, just my little water balloon this is just a, an ordinary balloon that I just put a bit of water in for weight and I find it just gives that extra bit of oomph when you're pressing in when you're kissing it so try to put a bit more color in there so yeah really happy with that blow kiss twirl pour swipe it's got the lot I'm very happy with it so i hope you like that and maybe give that a go i'm actually thinking of doing it on a much bigger canvas um that was a 40 by 50 so i'm gonna try it on my 121 by 40 um yeah on on different diagonals maybe so yeah i've got a few ideas now for the next one so until tomorrow guys i run a video every day i put up a video every day so uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel really appreciate that leave me a comment let me know what you think uh, and please join me again each and every day i have a video out comes out early in the mor very early in the morning australia time so i'm not sure what time I think it's the evening in in the um, US and the same in the UK but stay on for the photos at the end and until tomorrow see you then bye for now take care